What's up everyone? Welcome to Wingnuts RC. On today's episode, we're going to be going over this awesome 79 Bronco. This is a Traxxas TRX4 Bronco, one of the best crawlers you can get. Um, you know, they're a little pricey, but they are awesome. And I'm going to go over some of the custom features that I did to this one and, uh, you know, just talk about it. This is one of my favorite rigs. It doesn't get a lot of runtime because quite frankly i really like it i'm kind of proud of how it turned out and i don't want to mess it up so she's become more of a shelf queen these days but i will get it out soon and i'm going to do some running video of it and i'll be sure to get that uploaded so you know if you're not subscribed subscribe now so you don't miss out on that um so starting off at the front here you know we'll save the good stuff for later uh starting off at the front I took one of the stock chrome bumpers and I sanded that down, you know, they're black underneath. I thought that gave it a pretty cool look. I still left the chrome grill, but you know, just a little bit of black, a little subtle difference. I have one of the metal and this is just a cheap Amazon one, but you know, they're kind of heavy. So it adds some weight to the front, gives it some protection and they look super cool. Um, this one came with the square lights. I did some custom Casey highlight stickers on there and they turned out really well. Uh, I actually cut them and made them myself off of this sticker sheet uh, i took a little circle piece and then that piece there and made one sticker like that so i think they turn out really cool now this does have the traxxas led light kit in it it also has the aluminum imitation radiator in there which is a super cool little sticker sheet that i found um, i haven't seen that in a while i don't know if they're still making them but you know i was fortunate enough that i grabbed one of them when they were um, so moving back into the interior, I put one of the Lexan 79 Bronco interiors in it. They're cool, you know, they're lightweight. They don't fit the best. Uh, they kinda, they don't have enough clearance, like floor clearance. I would recommend getting the more expensive Bronco interior, the hard plastic injection molded ones. They work way better than the, uh, the Lexan ones, but and they look way cooler but you know these are ten dollars versus you know sixty dollars or whatever those ones are so i went ahead i did that painted it red uh you know it's pretty popular color for 79 for the interiors and i've got the old m16 up there now the guy that i use he's an old gi joe from like the 90s i forget what his name is i've never seen another one but i don't know it was always one of my coolest favorite action figures when i was a kid Got the old PBR can in there. Got the igloo cooler with six packs and Johnny Walker. You know, keeping keeping hydrated out there on the trails. All right, now let's get into the good stuff. We have the Proline Super Swampers. These are awesome tires. They are a pain to mount, especially on the. The SSD wheels and uh, the RC four-wheel drive wheels are a little bit of a pain too, but they're an awesome tire. They have a, they have a really thick bead and a thick sidewall, but you know they're still very, very good foams inside. You know, great tire. Um, these are the cheap Amazon steel wheels, but you know they work good. I'd rather have the deep dish, uh, but when I ordered these, they didn't have the deep dish ones yet. So eventually, I'm going to order a set of them. I have a set of the element hubs on there. Uh, let's give it a little bit more of a scale look. And then back here. Now, the first thing you might see is the lights. This is a set of buckets that I got with a mounting kit at my local hobby shop. Um, I've never seen another set of these. They were in like the leftover, pretty much the place that I go. Uh, it's a T and J hobby up in Shemokin area and it's this awesome little shop it's in dude's basement and it's just it's like rc crawler heaven down there um you walk up it's an old abandoned coal mine town and dude has this place in his basement and he has more stuff than half of the rc car the big rc car shops around and he's super knowledgeable super friendly he has his dogs in there they come up and interact with you and everything but uh anyway I found them there and when he got started, he bought out an RC shop that was going out of business, I guess, or something along those lines. So he had a lot of cool stuff that you don't see anywhere. And I was able to pick those up. And when I was there, they had the RC four wheel drive, the original KC light kit. 
So I took both those kits, put them together, and that's what I came up with. Uh, they do function. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a battery in it, but... No, there is not. There's no battery. So I'll get some running videos, and I'll show off the lights and all that. These lights work, these ones, and those ones, as well as the tail lights and everything. So the roll bar, I made that out of a coat hanger. And I've done a lot of coat hanger roll bars. That's like one of my go-to things for, for hobby building is uh, coat hangers. You can make all kinds of cool stuff out of them. And it doesn't take much to heat them up and bend them and uh, do stuff like this. Um, I took a white one, I bent it, drilled some holes in it to mount the down, down tubes to the main hoop and screwed it through there and screwed it up through here as well as the bottom to mount it. Yeah, that's on there pretty good. And I've rolled it a couple times, I haven't broke it. And that gave me the perfect spot to mount this. And I got the little fire extinguisher up there, a little box. I picked that up at that shop as well. Um, and I put these little magnets here. So I don't have it in here now, but normally I have like my chains and my little scale accessories that I'll put in here. And you know, it works out perfect there. Um, I can put my gas cans in there. Um, and now you might be wondering about the topless Bronco. Where did I get this body? Well, this is the body that came with it. Um, I have a 79 Bronco. I love 79 Broncos. It is probably my favorite vehicle of all times and I'm hardcore addicted to vehicles. So that's saying a lot. And I love the fact that you can take the top off the Bronco. Like in the summertime, I love taking the top off my Bronco and just going and cruising the trails, cruising out in the roads, whatever, back roads. It's just, it's an awesome feeling. So I needed a topless 79 Bronco. And I got my X-Acto knife out. I got my, my Dremel tool. I put the cutter wheel on there. And I carefully, very carefully went to town on it. Now, the first few cuts hurt. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was scared that I was gonna trash this body, but I took my time with it and it came out awesome, I think. I've seen a couple other people do it and it kind of worried me because theirs didn't look the greatest, you know, not knocking them, you know, they went out there and they, they tried something and, and they accomplished it, but I'm real picky with my stuff. So I wanted it to look nice. I wanted it to look as realistic as possible. And I took my time with it and I, I got it pretty good, I think. And I still have the top actually, it's out in the garage somewhere, um, but I have the top that I can actually put on there if I'd like. And I put the, uh, well, we'll go over the floor. The, the floor is just wooden popsicle sticks. I burned them, I stained them, and hot glued them in there. And then to mount it, I just, um, I got these little magnetic screw-in mounts for like a body mount kit. And I actually have that underneath there. Right there, you can see it. And I just screw right down into that. I have, you know, a clip through there. You can pop them right out and put the stock towers back in if you want. But, you know, it works out awesome for mounting it. Um, take those two screws out, two hood pins, and you can pop the body right off and switch your battery out. I have the hitch down there. Um, I think this is the Traxxas spare tire kit that they have. It's, it's nice because it's lightweight. It's just plastic. You can put a regular one on there, but, you know, this one's lightweight, so it saves the, uh, the weight for the bottom end. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you're thinking about getting one of these, do it. These things are awesome. As far as the chassis goes, they have locking front and rear hubs that you switch on the, the radio itself. Um, you can select front and rear locking, which is super cool. A lot of the, the other one-tenth scale crawlers, they're full-time locked. And that's great for crawling and stuff but if you're out trail riding that's a lot of strain on the drivetrain um it doesn't turn as sharp so being able to disconnect them if i'm out trail running one of my my traxxas uh, trx4s i always disconnect the the lockers and uh then if i need them like if it starts spinning i'll kick it in and and you know that that kind of adds another realistic uh scale aspect to it as well because if you're out on the trail you're going to be running your you know, your lockers open until you need them and then you'll flip the lockers on uh, nine times out of 10. 
So that's a cool feature. They also have a high-low tranny, which is really cool. Um, if you're learning or if you're in something technical, you can flip it in the low range. Uh, if you're out on the trail or if you want the wheel speed, you can kick it in the high range. Um, they work really good. I have had some issues with them binding, but again, I've had this one since I believe 2020. This was the first one I got whenever I got back into the hobby, uh, like 50 or 60 RC cars ago. And I thrashed this thing. Like whenever I first got it, I was out all the time with it. You know, it didn't matter inside, outside, wherever I was crawling this thing around. Um, so it has withstood the the test of what I've given it. It's still a stock motor, stock ESC, stock everything. This thing, aside from the the cosmetic upgrades, is bone stock, and it it does awesome. You know, I can't say anything bad about it. So if you're thinking about getting one and you have the money to spend on one of these, by all means, go for it. Buy one and you'll be happy. I promise. Thanks for watching Wingnuts RC. If you like what you saw in this episode, please subscribe. Check out my other videos. Hit that like button. Uh, click that bell so you get notifications. Comment down below. Uh, if you worked on one of these, if you did some stuff to it, let me know what you did. Um, if you want any other advice on anything, if I didn't go over something that you saw, um, if you want me to go in more detail about something that I did to it, or anything else that I did in any of my other videos, by all means, reach out through the comments, and uh, I'll make sure to get some videos uploaded for you. So have a good one. Happy RCing, guys.